All right, guys, I'm going to say something kind of crazy, but it is okay for you not to be active on Facebook. Before you take away my social media card, make sure you hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss any more videos from this channel, which are going to help your message get seen in the cluttered news feed. Yeah, that's right. I said it. You do not have to be on Facebook. You do not have to be active. You don't even have to be there. You don't even have to have an account. But here's why. So when I was scrolling through my Instagram feed, I came across a really fantastic post by Ellie Rose Social Media that was saying, you don't have to be active on social media. And it really got me thinking, you know what? She's right. If it doesn't make sense for your business to be on Facebook, you don't have to be there. But I have some things that I want you to think about before you decide to purge your Facebook page and jump ship to Instagram or LinkedIn or Twitter. Some things you to think about is if your audience is not on Facebook or maybe they're migrating away from it, that is okay. You should be going where your audience is. If they just so happen to be on another platform, like maybe they're spending more time on Instagram, maybe they're spending more time on YouTube, maybe they're spending more time on LinkedIn, you should go where they are and that's perfectly fine. So many social media people and places will tell you gotta be on Facebook, you have to be here. If you're not on Facebook, you don't exist. And while the, some of the things they say might have some merit, it's important for you to be where it is best for your business. If you're having a really hard keeping up with the demands of the Facebook algorithm, it might be time for you to reevaluate what platforms you're spending time on. Of course, a lot of people know that at the time of this recording, there was this really big Facebook change where they talked about how they are going to be devaluing Facebook pages. And everyone is in a complete panic about what they're supposed to do and how they're supposed to adjust. While I do have separate videos that can help you with that, which you can find in the description down below, it's important for you to be where it is best for your brain and where you can keep up. If there's just too many rules and you're having too hard of a time being there with their rules and their way, you shouldn't be there. You need to be where you can be your authentic self as best as you can. So if you're having a hard time coming up with valuable content, if you're having a hard time doing those regular live streams, if you're having a hard time knowing what to post and being seen, or maybe you're having a hard time giving into a budget for Facebook ads, maybe it's time to think about being on another platform. Maybe you have invested a lot of time and money into your website, and so it doesn't make sense for you to be on Facebook because maybe that's not where you're getting your leads. Maybe you're getting leads from your website or through your email marketing, which is 100% fine. The whole reason we are all in business is for money. So if you're getting your leads from somewhere else that isn't Facebook, you don't need to be there. You don't need to be spending all of your time there. You don't need to be investing your heart and soul in that place. If it's better used to get leads from like Google ads or email marketing or writing really great blogging content for your website, then that is where you should be spending your time. And if you are just really just like really uncomfortable with how Facebook is going, you're not seeing growth, you're not seeing leads, you're just really frustrated with it, I would suggest just kind of going into maintenance mode with Facebook. I really honestly do feel that you should be present at least once or twice a week, posting something, sharing a link, telling people where you're at with your business, and that is 100% fine. Go into maintenance mode and just be present without trying to accomplish anything. It doesn't always have to be about being present. It doesn't always have to be about getting sales. It doesn't always have to be about being leads. Sometimes the goal is just being present. So really think about how you're using Facebook to grow your business. And if of course you're looking for more ways to grow a better Facebook following to get more leads, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Or of course leave a comment below and I will gladly answer any questions that you might have. Being on Facebook is not the only thing available to you. Being on Facebook is not the only marketing tool available. And being on Facebook doesn't have to be what you do. Do I think that you could benefit from it if you're doing it right? Yes, but if that's just not your goal, if that's not your priority, don't be there. That is the best takeaway I can give to you. If it is not right for you, if it just feels like a work, if it just feels like a chore, if it just feels like it's not working, Really sit down with your marketing and reevaluate what is working for you and what you want to put your time and money into. I really hope that you like this video. Make sure that like button below and please let me know in the comments below where do you find to be the best way for you to get sales leads. It'll help all of us with growing our own business. Make sure you let us know in the comment section below. Like we always say in our military family, it is never goodbye. It is always see you later. So until next time, I will see you soon.